I have a week to get from 75 BPM all the way to 150 BPM on this crazy string skipping lick so I can record it to my upcoming song and also so I can release another video I have coming up for you guys. What wouldn't I do for you? We have a lot of pain in front of us and a lot of planning, so let's get straight into it. So, each day I will give an hour of dedicated practice just to the speed part. <coughs> oh my god and an hour of just learning the piece by heart because I can only do like two measures out of 20 and can do them at 75 BPM out of 150 we have a long way to go <laughs> I cannot even do these two first measures at the 150 BPM, I can only do it at about 40 BPM. That's a long way to go. Yeah, it's 6.14 am. I've already got my breakfast but my forearms are burning <laughs> brutally and it's like the same way like when i had tendinitis so i'll probably do my rehab exercises and then get straight into playing that's it okay so this thing works my extensor muscles those because your like flexor muscles get overused by guitar so when you work the extensors the kind of the pain should like disappear over here And for me, it works. Okay guys, I found what's holding me back and it's this part, let me show it to you, exactly this part. As you can see I cannot play it up to tempo. This outside picking stuff, at those tempos is like very difficult. Two training sessions today, one was swimming, one was bike, but uh, bike doesn't matter. My forearms are burning brutally from the swimming session. It's probably caused by like mixing the strength training like pull-ups and mixing it with the guitar and also with the swimming. Yeah, it's doing a really hard work. It's burning brutally. So I will massage it, do some like healthy eating stuff, like blueberries, yeah, and some protein, and <laughs> hope to get back to like training. 
for the 150 BPM. Okay. Okay guys, so right now I've been practicing for about two hours and the 120 BPM is actually kind of working. Let me show it to you. Not clean, I've got to practice more. Okay guys, I've learned another four measures and the first two ones are totally identical to the first two ones in the previous group of four and the second group of two has some little changes and the last one measure is completely different. Yeah, that's why I can play it only at like 70 BPM. Okay. Okay guys, it's 4 p.m. I've done about three hours of dedicated practice this morning and I've got pissed off. I think I'm like traumatized from today's morning because like the three hours I spent just drilling one goddamn part and that's the difficult like string skipping way. This Board. And I still haven't got it down. Still haven't got it down at the 120 BPM mark, but I can play the rest at about 130 BPM. Now, after three hours of dedicated practice in the morning, I've got a evening session in which I'll train and learn another four measures. <laughs> I think I'm doing I think I'm gonna die during this challenge it's we have only Thursday Friday and Saturday we have only three days left after this one to get the whole goddamn part at 150 BPM I think I'm gonna spend 15 hours in those three days just drilling this one part Why me? <laughs> okay, guys, today's day is kind of daunting actually because yesterday. I didn't even achieve 130 and today I'm supposed to like achieve 140 according to the plan which is like crazy I cannot jump like 20 BPM and my whole like my whole like attitude to practicing this stuff has been wrong the whole time because uh, I watched a pretty interesting video on how to play like something without mistakes and stuff like that and the guy says that you should extend your skills horizontally and not think only about the BPM number which was exactly what I was doing and so today we'll be extending horizontally hoping hoping for the best <laughs> yeah one of the things we're gonna do 
is string skipping past more strings in this same like in this same phrasing which will hopefully make the string skipping part a lot easier and we're gonna practice it in different positions in different stretches and I hope that when we extend it horizontally it comes naturally vertically but to the 140 mark <laughs> at least today yeah we have a lot of work to do I'm gonna try doing it from the fifth string and that's gonna be probably crazy <laughs> My god, I'm all sweaty from this weather. It's awful. It's like 36 degrees in here. Celsius, not Fahrenheit. I'm gonna die. Before jumping to the higher tempo, we need to get the fourth string and the fifth string one clean. Oh my god, the fifth string one's gonna be insane on this. Oh my god, this is now easy as f It's like, this really works. In 15 minutes, I got... Wait. Okay, sorry. In 30 minutes, I got further than if I were to practice only this thing. For two hours, probably. Amazing technique. Thanks to this guy. I'll link him in the description down. Okay, it's Friday, the <laughs> second last day, and I don't have much hopes for it. I've practiced two hours today morning, got to around 130 BPM. It was pretty clean, but 150. Right now, I have to take a break, and I'll do that by recording some clean guitar into one of my different upcoming songs. This one is with a singer. Yeah, I need to change the guitar in the second verse so we have some different textures. And I also want to play around with the guitar. I don't want to play some easy bull crap. What am I? One hour later. Okay, this is the first part I can actually play up to speed on the 150 BPM. Let's keep practicing. I'm getting brutally pissed off because I can like play those parts individually up to tempo but when I connect them together 
It all sounds like sh Yeah. I don't think we'll, we'll make this channel. Okay. It's 10 a.m. and today's morning was very stressful. I have already practiced for about two hours and I've never been pissed off as much as I was today's morning because I've got the hard part, the string skipping part at 1.30 BPM on its own clean. I've got it even across the four strings. And then when I tried like connecting it all together, like only the, only the four measures, when I tried connecting them, I couldn't even do 90 BPM. Oh my God, but then I took some rest and discovered two key elements that are holding me back right now. Let me show them to you. First one is actually a problem behind the neck over here. When I was playing fast stuff, I've always kept my thumb behind my index finger, but when I move up the neck, it got like that, which I don't know, for some reason caused a lot of string noise. And the second one was, I was not moving my arm as much as I needed to back when playing this part. I could have practiced it right from the start and I think I would have gone to at least the 140 mark, but yeah. Let's see where do I actually get today. It's the last day. Now let's hear the comparison of how much I improved against the first day. 